Hello guys, this is Samuel. Welcome back to my video series. As promised, uh, this video would be a code walkthrough of the two models we discussed in last two videos. I highly recommend for anyone coming new to go back and watch those two videos. Uh, the link to those videos would be somewhere here on the screen. Um, continuous bag of words and skip gram model. Uh, algorithm wise, these two models are quite similar. Uh, one predicts the center word using the context words and the other one does the inverse of it which is it predicts the context words using the center word. Um, we're going to start in initially with the implementation of the skip gram model and for this purposes I'm going to be using the implementation provided by TensorFlow itself. The GitHub link to that uh, implementation would be provided some in the description below. Hi guys, let's dive deep into the details of implementation of Skipgram model using TensorFlow. Um, so basically first we download our data set, second is we read through our data set and convert it into string form, third is we convert the textual representation into numerical representation um, for processing through our TensorFlow graph. The fourth step which we go into is basically generate the batches for our uh, inputs. Uh, for doing that there is some basic terminology which I would like to discuss over here. I also highly recommend to for everyone to go and check out the skip gram model discussion which we did and uh, which explains these terminology. So basically span over here represents the window in that discussion. Skip underscore window is basically how much length you are gonna go from on one side from the center word so the window size is equal to twice the skip window and center word itself so that's what is done over here once you are done with this you have your batches and the labels uh, now we uh, now we go and build our transfer graph so the inputs to our graph are basically two which are represented by the placeholders which you see over here uh, if you guys are not comfortable with TensorFlow terminology, I would be doing a video in which I only discuss how we would build how we build a TensorFlow graph and what does what represents what. So for here right now we can create two placeholders with uh, which are integers. One represent the context words, other represent the target of the center word. Um, once we are done with that, we uh, we discussed in script graph model. Uh, paper discussion that uh, we would be using something called as negative sampling which was a modification to noise constitutive estimation um, for that we need weights and biases we uh, describe those weights and biases over here and then we go and describe a loss function once we have done once we have got a loss node we go on and do our optimization using the gradient descent uh, stochastic gradient descent in this case and then we calculate our similarity from of this mini batch is with all the rest words uh, after this actually we run our training model um, start our training and once we are completed with our training we get this awesome beautiful um, word embeddings uh, graph which we actually did uh, which is actually generated using TSNE but uh, you, as you can see that uh, similar words are actually grouped together in clusters in this and that's it for actually uh, for skip gram model disk. So let's dive in deep into the details of implementation of continuous bags of word model. Uh, we have already discussed both the models are actually same algorithm wise, uh, but uh, what we do is reverse. We now we use the context words to actually predict the target word or the center word. Uh, so initial steps are same. We download a data set, we read a data set, and then we process it to actually generate numerical representations, and then we go on and generate a batch. Now batch here, the batch dimensionality of batch over here changes. Now it's equal to the batch size into the our span window size minus one because uh, we're gonna be using a bunch of words uh, also uh, what we need to know is that we got rid of number of skips if you see that's because uh, we're gonna be using the whole window to actually predict the center word uh, apart from that we made changes is our input 
our input has to now changed into since our batch is equal to b into span minus one and span minus one is equals to twice uh, of skip window so if you see our input changed input uh, vectors dimensionality has changed now when we got that we the another thing that changes that basically changes in the algorithm is how we actually do our embedding lookup um, our embedding uh, uh, what we do is basically our average our embedding uh, lookup to do that we basically generate uh, embeddings and then start concatenating them and after we concatenate them then we do the reduce over this which actually gives us the average embedding model and over which we basically run our loss function and then calculate the gradient uh, descent in similar way as um, we saw in uh, Skipra model and basically that's the only changes so basically we take uh, the whole span window to actually try to print centerward and we calculate average embeddings uh, let's see this in action um, so I got the code over here let's see start running it so it's gonna take some time oh it's found file so I already have the data set downloaded so found it mm. so if you see over here it starts there and it says average lots at step 0 is 7.5 so a very good way to see if your algorithm is doing correct or not is to see uh, your error is not going negative or actually it's uh, decreasing each step so yeah this is how it looks thanks guys for watching my videos I really appreciate uh, you guys watching through my content I would appreciate some feedback on it uh, I would be uploading next is some tensorflow basic videos and some experiments which could be really short experiments to actually make you feel comfortable with tensorflow uh, also I would be going back to my coffee and paper series which is more of a passion area for me uh, I would be doing the glove model next and I would also be doing an implementation of glove model vectors uh, till then, peace out.